I have fried food. I have fried food. I have fried food. I have fried food. Do you hear me? And then also, if you're on the other ones, Monjaro or Wegovi, I would love to know more about it because that might be the next category I try. I've been seeing a lot of videos on TikTok about people using it and having lots of success with those. So. you all on my last Ozempic video that I was going to give you all the skinny on certain things that would be difficult in this journey. The skinny. <laughs> no pun intended. Um, The thing I wanted to talk about is the isolation. The loneliness you'll feel or maybe that I'm feeling around when I don't eat because I'm not hungry because the semaglutide is working perfectly within Ozempic. If you're on Wegovi, I think it's basically they're the same medication made by the same manufacturer. Those of you who are on the Munjaro and Trulicity, I can't speak to, but it's the same type of category of drug that produces the same sort of output, which is weight loss and also controlling A1C. If you're a diabetic or pre-diabetic, it helps in those categories. I don't have any pre-diabetes in my health profile, how and so ever. I do have pre-existing conditions whereby I was pre-approved and pre-authorized to go on Ozempic to help address those things because obesity-related illnesses are fatal ones. And for people who are ready to quickly judge those of us who are taking these category of um, injectables for weight loss, because you believe people who are fat did it to themselves. There are so many reasons why people are overweight, not just overeating being the main cause. There are people who have in injuries. They begin to be sedentary because they're homebound. People get big over different reasons. You go on steroids for a time. If you have any respiratory illnesses, people definitely see an uptick in weight when you go on steroids. So if you're here to judge, Go find another video. Go write it in the journal. Write it Write it in your diary. Call your mama and tell her. I was probably in pre-stroke category based on my blood pressure alone. I was having a lot of headaches. I was constantly sick, stressed out from a very stressful environment. I had recently left. My physical body had had enough, okay? And so when I talked to my doctor about it, like I said before, the first solution wasn't just to jump on Ozempic. She definitely did not bring that up to me until like my second or third visit with her in a time period. She gave me some tools and some solutions and things to try before we even went on Ozempic. So we discussed what the side effects were. Mine were minimal. I mentioned this before. I had very little nausea and heartburn with my first injection. My statistics are, and I'll put it somewhere on this video on the screen, how many weeks I've been on it, how much was my starting weight, was was my highest weight, and how much I've lost. So there has been weight loss. There has been a good significant amount where I even feel like if you look at a previous video of me about three or four months ago, this chin is not chinning as much as it used to, my double chin. And I'm seeing my stomach slimming down. I'm going to put some photos here too. And what has been the greatest success story for me in Ozempic is I now have the energy to devote to doing the things I want to do and need to do. Like my day is now filled with getting stuff accomplished or feeling more motivation to get those things done. My weight being as high as it was, it led to a lot of not feeling fulfilled, not feeling like I could be a go-getter. The fact that over the years I've been extremely anemic. I could not get the energy and the drive to get up in the morning to do a little exercise, even stretch, get out the bed and do a couple simple stretches in the morning. I now get up and do that pretty consistently, not every morning, but I do it. I work out at my desk. I have a whole video about it, which y'all refuse to watch, but just that's fine. That's fine. I'm not feeling that too hurt. I exercise at work because that's the time I have to do it. I have no interest in going to a gym. <laughs> just don't. Not this period in my life. I have I had gym memberships after gym membership after expensive gym membership over the years. And I have not kept my weight off because of the gym. So the hunger sensations are more controlled on the Ozempic. My digestion is slowing down, which means I'm fuller faster, which is a remarkable, remarkable feeling to have. To be 
finally among those girls who are always like, oh, I've had just enough. I had a bite already. I'm full. Can't eat another bite. I'm now that person. Very annoying. I feel kind of excluded, even though I will eat with my family and I'll eat just what I'm going to eat. So if my husband loads up my plate, which sometimes he will, forgetting that I'm doing this and actively appetite suppressed most of the time, I'm not super hungry. So have a couple bites and I just watch everybody else eat and just talk to them about their day. That's pretty much it. The other downside, which I just unfortunately had the experience of, I'm changing health insurance at the moment. I have missed my dose for the week and I definitely feel the difference. It is a noted sensation from being super appetite, suppressed, controlled, very much feeling full sooner, quicker, cravings have been removed that has been a big plus Ooh, when i tell you i could drive by all my favorite places my favorite coffee places my favorite restaurants and i'm i'm fine now that i'm off this for a week baby she has wanted popeyes this week she's wanted to go to the local gas station they got the best greasiest donuts that are fresh off the line <laughs> She has wanted a hamburger from McD's, knowing good where them burgers be setting my stomach on fire. Um, she's definitely like feeling different sensations now, knowing I need to not even be going there. I did have a restaurant meal for lunch today at work. I got a I got a hummus bowl with um, chicken gyro meat in it. Onions, bell peppers, banana peppers, and lettuce. And then I had some french fries. Okay. I had fried food. I had fried food. I had fried food. I had fried food. Do you hear me? I had fried food. <laughs> oh! But it's all, all it's all good. Came home for dinner. Spouse had made burrito bowls. Check that recipe out on my channel. Yes. We making this almost every week now in our house. For real. But we did it without tortillas. He made brown rice instead of white, like this much of guac with a little bit of chicken on top. That was it. Mentally putting my brain where it needs to be, thinking more consciously around the food choices I make. And yes, I still embrace the hunger scale, which I talked about. And I'm not food journaling as, as seriously as I should, but I do daily weights. So that's the other thing. Daily weights, if you're intimidated by that, this may not be the plan for you because I really feel like what my doctor said about daily weights and what the podcast I listen to about daily weights and being on Ozempic and trying to really track my progress, weighing yourself daily is going to help because especially when I'm not on the medicine this week, I really got to pay attention and be strict with myself, follow my own hunger cues without Ozempic and try to get to a place where I can realistically sustainably seeing myself like eventually when I come off of this that this is how I'm I'm going to have to live my life and I've never been on the plan as long as this one so I believe I'm on week I made it to six weeks with my one pin that was pretty good um I figure out how I can get my medication for next week because <laughs> I do want to go back on it because I'm so scared I'm going to rebound weight and then also if you're on the other ones Monjaro or we go V, I would love to know more about it because that might be the next category I try. I was a lot of different solutions for those of us who have had long-term struggles with weight loss and obesity and finally get into a place where you see dramatic weight loss. So anyway, that's my story around some of the downsides of Ozempic and some of the positives. And if you have any with your Ozempic journey that you'd like to share in the comments, please do. So anyway, I'm Latrice Kelly. Please check out my Healthy Me, Healthy You playlist for more. And I'll see you on the next video. Like, comment, share, and subscribe. Thanks for watching.